All right, welcome back to another episode of Now We're Talking Bye Bye. We should do an emo version of that. Now we're talking, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Mommy, don't be lazy. <laughs> That's the wrong words. Daddy, Daddy don't, don't be, be crazy. crazy. Our world's turn upside down, but now we're talking, baby. Nice. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Not switch up. Not switch around. Yeah, I'm going to switch up every week, I think, just to keep things... That's, uh, a, that's a big, bold keep statement. Things interesting. Um, how's pregnant life then, eh? How's this week been for you? So, I'm going to keep it real. Yeah. This week has been probably the hardest. Mm. Physically. Yeah. I... The, my, what, what my mum said is happening. So the baby is growing, but my tummy hasn't caught up yet. So I've been getting like a lot of painful stitches, can't catch my breath, uh, painful to move in certain positions, especially when I go to sleep lying down. Um, it's been very uncomfortable. And he's sticking out in some weird places and yeah, it's it just is. very, very uncomfortable. It's very tight. Mm -hmm. um, it felt very tight the other night. Like, yeah. like, you know, when you're bloated to the point of like, can't eat anymore and you've got like, no, nothing to grab that's how it felt yeah I was like, yeah and it's that feeling as well like Shit. that i had yeah that's that feeling where you feel so like mm. sick and painful like it hurts yeah um so yeah that's been me this week you know it hasn't because i i just wanted to say that because obviously I, every time i come on here i'm like oh my god it's been great blah 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 blah, blah. keeping it real babe just keeping it real homie you know what have all these new complications going on in my body um and i don't really have a midwife right now do i like i have had issues it's with my midwife in, it's a bit up in the air like i've had to move hospitals because we've moved area which mm -hmm. is fine and i with that i was like oh great i might actually get to see a midwife now because i never got to see a midwife with my old hospital and it's just a bit annoying really so kind of need like an expert midwife what are the odds what are the what, odds what are the what odds, are the, what are the odds? So actually having an expert midwife on today we have Kathy coming on today. We do. We have a midwife coming on today. And I'm very excited because I've heard a lot about her brand and I've actually got a few of her products. Yep. Um, so I can imagine she's so knowledgeable. Yeah. And I know you must have some burning questions. I've got practical questions, very practical questions. You've got questions. I know we actually asked our listeners for questions. So we've got a whole array of questions for Kathy. We do. We do. This is the size of our baby, actually. Um, I think this is a very small coconut. Yeah, um, that's a mini coconut. Yeah. It's definitely bigger than that. I'll tell you now, his arse is bigger than that because when he sticks his arse out. But then again, don't know if it goes off density because that is dense. So yeah. it's been a testing week for you. Yeah, a little bit, but it's getting better now. But I think because I'm getting fatter. So. You're definitely getting angrier. I just say... So, right, so we... When was it? It was only a few days. It was yesterday. Am I getting angry or are you just getting more annoyed? You're getting angry. Yesterday, right, she went out, she, she she went to get her nails done. She came back and nail had snapped, right? So she was kind of angry. And she's like, can you make my salad for me? And I was like, yeah, of course. Bear in mind, I've just been chopping veg for like an hour straight. So yesterday I chopped I chopped veg for two hours. Cam, I get out of bed for you when I'm basically <laughs> asleep to cook you something. So don't give me that. No, no, fine. I don't mind chopping it. But she was, she, she, did. she gave me a picture. She went, I want my salad to look like this. She went, I want the onions to look like this. And I went, all right. I said, send it to me. She didn't send it to me. So I had no reference point. You didn't. I haven't got the picture DPMO. of the salad. So anyway, I'm there chopping away for about an hour. I gambled on how I thought I should chop the onions. I got back and she went, <laughs> she walked in. And I went, here's your salad. She was like, it doesn't look like the picture. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> And then honestly, I went, no, it's all right. She went, no, no, Cam, no, f no, fuck this. <laughs> I was like, what? Like, I've just, I'm, it, it was nice. You enjoyed it. Yeah, you did, I mean. You did say sorry because you were just a bit flustered. Yes, but even today when I had the salad, I was a bit like, what the fuck? Like, you, I asked for thinly sliced onion, red onion, normal, right? Yeah. You chunky you chopped said, my you onion. Said, you said you wanted my chunky. onion. My onion was thicker and wider than my red bell pepper. Who does that? I thought I said you wanted it. They look, they look more like the picture than what... Than what... No, Cam. Anyway, they, listen, it's minor in hindsight, but it did piss me off at the time, yes. Yeah, so you are getting a bit... But it's understandable. Like, I, I have to... Cam, I don't have much of a life right now. No, no, but so... I'm, I'm about to say that. Like, I... 
sometimes like back in the day if that had been the case i would have probably gone on the defense a bit more but now i'm like okay i'm a lot more sensitive around you and like okay understand why she might be a little bit more annoyed and but actually she's got she's pregnant she's stressed there's a lot of hormones going around so i do have to take myself back and be like, yeah don't bite back at her that's just good if you've you know she's annoyed about the salad because it didn't like the picture let it go cab are you um gonna miss me oh yes yes so uh, we should let everyone know that emma's going away to la for a week and li- i would say the sunshine coast but that's an absolute lie because it's raining yeah and leave me on that on my own in the house for a week yes i know it's not something i'm looking forward to in that respect i've got but all my friends I'm coming lo- over i'm looking forward to getting away i just need a break from you for what? a week Babe, we've been that. under each other's skin for a while now. I do just need a, I a been break. Under your, I haven't been under your skin, mate. You've been under mine. No, babe, we have. You've been under my skin for three and a half years. <sighs> I like it, Yeah, though. and now I've fall, got your skin growing in fall me. Fall right under there, babe. Nestle a home under my skin. I enjoy you. I enjoy you. Do you know what I said to him the other day? I said, there's probably only one person in this world that I could tolerate being around 24-7, and that is you. No one else I could not tolerate being with 24-7. But I know, but you. I feel the same about you. Oh, you clearly don't, you're fucking off to LA, saying it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice work break trip. from me. It's a work trip, and it will be a nice break. And it, it's true, like, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. It does, And yeah. I, by now, you know, this is the longest I haven't been away for. I yeah. need this holiday. But you're not worried about me and my me, all my friends coming over? That is causing me anxiety. <laughs> I've get, right, I've, I'm going to give them a list of things not to do, not to go in your bathroom, um, what else is on the list? Okay, so what whose towels they're going to use? Not uh, they're all bringing their own towels. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, who's no, no cooking they're unless you, supervised. They're not using my mugs. Well, you're going to use your mugs? I'm no, not, babe, well, not, I'm not my two. The, I'm not telling them to bring their own mugs. That's too far. No, I can't okay. Tell. Well, I'm putting my two away. Don't do that. No, I am. You're putting. You're hiding your mugs. Yes, Kangs. What if they drop? What do you them? think they're going to do? Bite it? Sm- they're not going to drop. Harris them. will. Yeah. He won't. Fine. Hide your mugs. What else do you want to hide? Let me know. Um, well, one one of your friends has got to sleep in our bed, apparently. Yeah, he does. I don't sleep in my own. Well, we haven't got as many beds, so I've got to, got to utilise the space we got. It's just I, so unfair. I like, haven't seen my friends in a while. We're, we're going to be sensible. Go we're, Wales. We're doing fun stuff. We're going to go play pickleball. We're... My cooker, I'm so scared about my cooker getting scratched. You know how obsessed I am with that thing. We'll cook everything in the slow cooker. How about that? Everything will go through the slow cooker so no one touches the hob. Okay, fine. Is I'm just going to have to present him with a printed out sheet of vape. rules. As long as you clean the place before I get yeah, home. Yeah, I will clean it up. No, I but will. actually clean it. Yeah, I will. I've got a clean room. No, Cam. What's wrong with getting a cleaner in? And you said you'll clean my car as well because you still got to get, get that fixed. I'm going to clean your car. You're going to get my car fixed and you're going to clean it I'm going to clean your car and get the house done, sorted. Yeah, we're going to... We're um we're going to a car boot sale. That's gonna be fun. We went to a car boot sale last year when they all came around and you were away. I think you were in LA last last time. We went to a car boot sale and we bought those pictures of those. <laughs> bought the pictures. I know. I like the picture of the dogs. You, yeah. you no, it wasn't the picture. Of the do- it was a random picture of someone's dog. But we bought. I think it was about forty pound on these two pictures of this war veteran. Had no significance. He was just someone. Someone's random granddad. And we had two framed golden pictures. Mm. And I put them up in the house to piss them off. She came back and went. I really like those. I was I like, did. they're not fucking staying. I'm not having a picture of this old random dead man in, in our house. I like it. Fun parent went to the zoo the other day to get some prep in. I went with my boys to uh, Hertfordshire Zoo. Great zoo. It's got um, red pandas. There's lions, tigers, leopards. I saw all the snow leopards for the first time. That was yeah. unbelievable. Oh, cute. I'm but very I'm just, jealous. I'm trying to get some prep in. But what I realised, because we went round it in an hour and a half, right? I was then chatting to my boys and I was like, when I have, when we have our baby, and he's at an age that he wants to go around and see everything, it's going to be a lot longer, isn't it? Because they're slow. Yeah, of course. And you, <laughs> you, you do it for a day, like it's an activity for a day. You don't just go there for an hour with your child. There's no point in getting out no, of the bloody car. You do all the, you do all the shows, the parks, the theme thing. The exactly. Theme th- you make a day out of it, and they do f- meerkat feeding there. I'm just trying to get in my um, fun dad feels. Oh, uh, that's what you're trying to get out. No, I'm just trying to get in my like in my in my element of like what we're what we're gonna do. Zoos on there. Yeah. Ninja Warrior when they're old enough. The the, the course thing, you know. You always do this. You skip for like a hundred years. That's not hundred years. That's not hundred years. We can get physical from like physical rough and what's it called? Rough and rough and tumble. <laughs> no, we've got um. It's called rough and tumble. We've got kids zone. Remember with the brothers? We've oh got, yeah, we've got kids taking the kids zone. Um. 
I want them to learn how to surf and play instruments, but that's maybe not as fun. And I realised when I was in the zoo, this is, <laughs> this girl came up to the cage of the lemurs and she was going, lima, ma, 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 ma. And I was like, I couldn't do that. But if our kid was doing that, I could definitely join in. Because what she was doing was like, I was like, that's quite, I like it. It's a good chant. But I can't join in because that's not my kid. No. If our kid came up and was going, ma, 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 I'd be like, yeah, cool. We'll join in. Yeah. So I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. It's fun to to join in with your kids. And I mean... Where, uh, kids definitely make things more fun. Well, it's like, remember we were at the airport? I think on the way back from when we found out in... in my, in my bed and there was like a kid rattling around with like one of the security gates no one batted an eyelid because it's a kid yeah so it was funny i if i did that i'd be like you need to leave sir this is not okay but i'm saying when our kid does it i can do that with him or mm. would you reckon people would be like can you stop that um, that's what i'm just playing with my kid taking the security <laughs> things off yeah i don't know i may have to cross that bridge when we come to it, it just allows me to be a bit more of a freak a freak <laughs> yeah Leave ma, 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 ma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Are you okay with what me and the boys are going to do for the baby? It's like an initiation thing. I've always wanted to do it. Yeah, that's fine. It's cute. So what I plan on doing, I haven't got the specifics yet, but I'm going to take the baby down to Wales, where all, all my boys are from, where I'm from. And we're basically going to like kind of do like a Lion King thing. We're going to get some wall paint or wall paint us, wall paint him. And we're going to do some like tribal chants. Just to initiate him in. I think it's like a tribal thing, you know. We'll get him and feel involved. Unless he starts crying, then we'll be like, okay, boys, chill. But I think he might enjoy it. Obviously, he can't initiate the noises too, but he just appreciates he's part of a tribe now. Yeah. Because my boys are all going to be very protective of him as well. Okay. So are you going to do, like, blood on his forehead or something? I don't... Where am I going to get blood from? I don't know. That's what I'm imagining. Maybe I will get blood. Some, like, goat's blood. Like, your... No, your blood. Like, father-son blood. Who going to slit our... Slit our palms? Hey, actually, Let's say quite... his. I said yours. Yeah, slip my yeah. Maybe I'll slip my part. Yeah, that's like I think people do that. It's easy. <laughs> Start drinking it. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do that, and then he's gonna be fully initiated into the clan. You're okay with that? Yeah, fine. You're okay with me driving our baby down to Wales, me slitting my hands and pouring my blood on his face. Yeah. Slightly worried if you are. I feel like when the time comes, I'd be like, "Can I do that thing?" You'd be like, "Absolutely fucking not." Yeah, no. I mean, I'd like to be there to... No, you can't be there. You're not part of the tribe. Well, who's going to breastfeed the baby? Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, te- well, you can come. you just got to be up. Okay. Oh, you're gonna, be... Yeah, but you're going to ruin the fun. You're going to be like, oh, boys, this is stupid. I know what you're like. It's going to be quite like tribal chants. Like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm going to get a YouTube video up. I'm going to learn the chants. Like some, like... Like maybe it's like Mon- Mongolian throat singing. Just get Indian. Uh, Indian you know chants. Oh yeah, maybe some Indian chants. Yeah. Maybe some Welsh, Welsh in there. Welsh chants. Yes. Yeah, we'll do we'll do a load of different. Some chants. sheep noises. Because that's what we all do in Wales. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you want to do your sheep impression again? <laughs> what did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. it is no, a good... to be fair, it is my one Go and on. only party trick. Ready? Okay. <laughs> it's great. It's got the not. <laughs> It's got a really good like wobble it's, to it. It's the vibration before you let anything out. Yeah, that's that, key. That's really good. I know. I don't know how I learned to do that. It's a good part. It is a good it's part the only trip. thing I can do. <laughs> can I try? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> no. What are you doing? <laughs> Just relax. No, I am relaxed. You sound like a dying <laughs> bird. <laughs> so, hang on. How are you doing it? <laughs> <laughs> That's all that comes out. How, how, are you, how are you doing how that? How are you supposedly <laughs> a singer when you can't <laughs> even do that? <laughs> Just go. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine sounds like he's dying. <laughs> Oh no. You know what mine sounds like? You know this crazy goat you get on the video? They're like, Bah! Shall I tell my story? So, Please. Something that happened this week. It actually happened, I think, the day we filmed the last episode. So, <laughs> em has gone out, right? em has gone out, and I'm in bed, just like in my boxes. I think I'm just watching YouTube, right? And I've kind of monged. Em's rang me and said, I'm going to be home in like 20 minutes or longer than that. I can't remember what it was. 
I've like just monged out and fully thought, well, the next time the door goes, it's going to be M, right? So the door goes, didn't really think anything much of the knock. I put my dressing gown on. <laughs> I, I come downstairs and I was like, no, I'm going to do something fucking funny. I flung Cause my he's d- not Because he's not funny. So he has to try and think <laughs> things to be funny. I flung my dressing gown off. I grabbed my boxes and I wrenched them up either side of my balls and up my bum crack. <laughs> I pulled the door open and went, you're late. <laughs> and it wasn't fucking him. It was the postman. It was the postman. It was the postman. And it was a woman. She looked at me and went, oh. And I was like, oh, my God. I fucking grabbed my dress again. I pulled my bo- my boxes were riding up, literally sat on my waist. I pulled my boxes back there. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were my girlfriend. She was like, no, 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 it's all right. I haven't seen her since. <laughs> it was, I got so close to her face because I, I wrenched the door open. And I, I like jerked forward like that. And I went, you're late. Right in her face. <laughs> she looked at my face and looked down. And I was like, I had this like, my boxes were like in the shape of a thong. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. And then, like, when you when you actually eventually came home, I, like, snuck down. I, like, creeped open the door. I was like, oh, it's definitely I her. thought it might have been so weird. Honestly, but no, honestly. that would have made her day, probably. And she probably told that to so many of her friends. She probably went home crying to her husband. She might have actually thought that was intended for her. <laughs> because, like, it might have been a late parcel. Because I did, like, obviously, in until- <laughs> <laughs> you're late. You're late. With my PLT parcel. In- yeah, it was a PLT parcel. Until I, oh, was it? Yeah, until I said oh, I was my girlfriend. I think she might have been like, fuck, I am late. <laughs> I am late. <laughs> oh, so yeah, that was that was probably the funniest thing that's, that's happened this week, to be honest. Um, that was quite an eventful, eventful morning. So now moving on to messages from you guys. We have got a message here. You've got one, haven't you? I do. I have it. Have a message from Jensen. Like Jensen Button, the race car driver. Don't know who that is. Don't worry. Okay. First of all, um, I was loving the podcast of Cam's mum. Yeah. Oh, we thank love you. That. We thank love mum. And the story of Cam running through the street naked with his friends was something I definitely did with mine. With his mum. <laughs> <laughs> it made me think of a memory from when I was younger. Me and my friends used to throw dirt at a house that seemed abandoned until one day an old lady suddenly looked out the window. Oh no, my heart. We were all scared and ran away. The next day there was a piece in the newspaper about a group of boys who had been terrorizing an old woman in her house. <laughs> Jensen. Oh, my mum saw the story and nurse. started saying how disgusted she was with this group of troublemakers and that she hoped that they were caught. <laughs> she never found out who it was. So sorry, mum, about that one. It's just aired it now. <gasps> mum's gonna find out. That's brave. Oh my god, Jensen. Throw in mud at old No, ladies. that pot no, because I have such a soft spot for old people. No, I I wouldn't even do that. That's rogue, that is. That to poor be fi- lady. I just think of my nan. Do you know what? I probably would have done it because up until yeah, he... because you were a little shit. Up until he knew... No, I mean, throwing mud at someone's house is quite fun. Not... Well, no, he thought it was abandoned. So if you think no one lives there, fuck it, throw mud at it. No, Cam. No, no, that, no. Funny yeah, no, there's that. not. There's nothing funny about it. No, that's what I mean, Jensen, you prick. <laughs> Don't... No, do you know what? No, seriously. No, seriously. Seriously. Cam... <laughs> No, I, Jensen, I'm sorry. I'm not finding that funny. I may be no. smiling, but I'm not actually smiling. It's That's not funny. No, it's not, and an, it's not funny, Jensen. You know, I hope you do get caught now. Yeah, no, too, too right. Know, calm as a bitch. And probably when he's old now. He's yeah, why don't we go throw mud at his house? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah, like that, pal. No, we wouldn't do that. No, we don't. Do, we don't throw mud no. at people's houses no, unless they're abandoned. You don't throw stones in people that live in glass houses. <laughs> that's not the same, but yeah, pretty is much not? that. Don't throw mud at old lady pe- that old ladies live in. Old lady people's houses. Don't, <laughs> Don't throw, throw mud, at- mud at old people's houses. Yeah, that's, basically. that's the saying. That old proverb. Mm. God. Some fucking people. So we've got another message. This one's to me. From Abby with an I. I was wondering whether M had any pregnancy cravings yet. I didn't have a pregnancy craving, but I once ate a piece of toilet roll and would suck freshly washed towels. <laughs> Well, thank you for disclosing. That's what I do. Why has she told us that? <laughs> Maybe she's, that's she's just gone. I, she's, think, I think I spoke about it one time. She's literally just said, I don't have any pregnancy cravings, 
but I eat toilet rolls and suck wash towels. Like, you didn't have to disclose that. The question was right at the start. Is well, that all she said? That's all she said. She's oh, just, yeah, no, that's it. She's just- to- Fair play. She just said she eats toilet rolls. Yeah, roll. I think she's trying to resonate because I'm pretty sure I aired that I used to do Suck, that. Suck that, yeah, used to suck But washing. that's not a craving. That's just something I used to do as a child. Um, yeah. But I would probably still do that now. But toilet roll. It tastes fucking good. That's like, it was just the thing I used to do when I was younger. My mum, as soon as the washing was done, she'd have it in the washing basket and it smelled so good that I just had to suck on the washing and like, just, just I used to have to do weird it. Weird as fucking that, it really just, weird. I just had to do it, it was great. And I'd still do it now. It, my mum's washing is so good. Like, I just take it and suck it. It's so, ta- oh. Yeah, odd, odd so behavior. Nice. So, oh, it's making my mouth water. But to Abby's question, you haven't had any craving shit, have you? No, so yeah, we're very similar. Both do that yeah. weird stuff and she, uh, she's, no cravings. She's not pregnant. Um, she's the toilet, toilet paper, water. Maybe it was an accident. Could be an accident. Blowing her nose and accidentally got some in her mouth. I would like to. Anyone that's listening, I want to know. I want to know the weirdest cravings because I want to try them on the show. I think that'd be oh, a really good that is such do. a good idea, and I've been meaning to say that to you. Yeah, we want to because obviously you haven't any cravings, but I want to see everyone's like yeah. weirdest cravings. You might yeah. not be able to eat them, but I will eat all of them. Why can't I eat them? Well, no, you might. They might be meat related. They might oh, be dangerous. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll eat coal. Fuck it. Bring it on. Definitely send in some weird cravings that you have yeah. had or you know someone that's had because that would actually be so good. To yeah. Try it. I agree. I want the weirdest cravings. So please send them in. No, you, do, you always go extremes. It even needs to be the weirdest. Just anything. Like, I don't want to sit here eating like boiled eggs because that might be someone's craving. I want weird. I want like egg and sticky toffee pudding. Okay. Combined, yeah. encased, yeah. like a Scotch egg, but wrapped around it is sticky toffee pudding yeah. casing. Mm. Oh, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Mm. Okay, good one. All right, good nice. One. Should we introduce our guest? Should we get our guest on? Let's get Kathy in. I'm so excited. Let's get her in and let's get the information out of her. So, welcome, Kathy, to Thank the you. podcast. You are a expert. expert midwife. I am an expert midwife. Well, yeah. I think you are very much needed at this point. We've, I know we've got a lot of questions. I especially have a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. Um, so thank you for coming on. Yeah. Well, you're you. getting to that stage now, aren't you? you it's, it's the penny it's, dropping it's that you are having a baby. Time. Exactly. It's getting so real. Like, yeah. It, well, it, pre, um, also, you can actually, if you were to give birth right now, prematurely, it would survive, right? I mean, they're in hospital, obviously, quite a while till they can go home. But yeah. 90% of babies survive. They're about a kilogram in weight, about 10 to 12 inches long. They're opening and closing their eyes. They can hear you. There's active sleep and there's quiet sleep. So over the next month or so, you will probably notice um, that there's a little pattern starts to develop and your baby's going to be active at a certain time. Every time I lay down. Yeah. Every time I go he to loves, bed. He yeah. loves lying down. Yeah, he loves lying down, yeah. Well, he gets extra boosted circulation when you lie down. So your body's not got to be, <sighs> you know, your blood circulation's not got to be keeping you going as much if you're laying down. Did you know if you lay down on your left-hand side, you get 30% more placental perfusion through the placenta than you do that if you lay on your back or on your right? No, Much better to lay on your left-hand side if you can. Not a deal breaker if you absolutely hate laying on your left. Is that something to do with the heart being on the left? It's or? the major blood vessels in yeah. the body, yeah. yeah. You're, you're a right-hand sider. I'm not, you no, want to face I'm, me. It's all right on your right hand side. It's not a no, problem. No, I, I like to mix it but up. But you get more blood through if you lie on your left hand side. Yeah, no, I yeah. definitely. I do, it's fifty fifty to be quite honest. Yeah. Third trimester, scary yeah. times. Yeah. Um, should I be doing my Kegels? Oh, key, well, the Kegel. jury is out. A Kegel is um an exercise for the pelvic floor. Yeah. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say you don't have to do any exercise. You, you it's certainly good to think about stopping that. When you pass urine, if you can stop it, yeah. that's usually an indicator. Oh, I can of, do that. Yeah. Well, that's an indicator of a, a well-functioning pelvis, pelvic floor. But I have been finding my sneeze, I do let some yeah. urine go So those through. hormones that we've been talking about, the hormones are going to loosen things. It's not a deal breaker to not do them. Do them if you want to do them. Don't do them if you don't want to do them. I honestly think you've got enough to be thinking about than stressing out. Some people do them every time they get to a red light in the car. Yeah, and- that's literally what I said. You know, every time I get in the car, I'm like, I've got an hour to go. I'm like, right, I'm going to do an hours worth of pelvic floors i'm not going to speak against anybody who wants to do a physical exercise but don't beat yourself up if you keep forgetting can i have sex in the third trimester slash is it safe yes you can have sex in a low risk pregnancy if you've not been advised that your placenta is low lying you can have sex if you feel up to it you might have to change position you might have to be a little bit more careful but you can have sex if you feel up to it amazing so what positions would you recommend you on top yeah. I said that. Oh, yeah. I said I that. Uh, yeah. I have to see yeah. that. The belly thing for me is a bit of a. 
and uh, Ooh, you know. so you condolences, you condolences to your libido, but you on top. You don't recommend doggy? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Um, and kind of spoons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that. We did and, that. And uh, for, from my point of view, so say we got 100%. Where shall I be giving it in the range of like six, <laughs> six, 60? Like, I don't, I don't, well, like the push factor. I, I don't no want condolences to, right to your ego. It. You can go right at it. Okay. You're well away from that baby. Believe you me. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, you more, are well away from that baby. More like. I know. This is what I tell no, no, no. What do they like, think? Don't flatter yourself. What do they think they're like? Yeah. More, more like vigor and, and, you know, like. The baby will be speed, oblivious. Speed. The baby will be oblivious. He, right, basically, knock we, yourself out. we hadn't had sex the whole pregnancy and we finally did it because I was crying and I got sympathy shag last no, week. No, that wasn't what it was. Uh, it, it was, was it exactly was what it was. One. And um, then afterwards, he was like, oh my God, the poor baby, his whole home yeah. was being well, shaken about. That's like an earthquake for you. Like, it is not. <laughs> well, the, the baby's in a bag of water, so the long. baby's protected, the cervix is closed, the cervix is pointed towards your backbone. So it's, it, it moves a bit like a cannon can move. It pivots in, in early labour. So your, your, your cervix is pointing right away. The baby will be oblivious. Having said that, if you do have sex and you have any bleeding or pain afterwards, go along to your midwife unit and get that checked out. And is that also normal? I haven't had any cravings. Well, cravings are weird. And sometimes we think that, that because you're deficient in something like salty foods are very often craved. But um, I once looked after somebody who craved um, concrete. She used to go out to a skip in her garden and get concrete and she broke three of her teeth doing that. Cravings can be weird, so you don't have to obey them. But for most women, it's things that have got iron in. You know, if they're a bit anemic, they will crave something. So I'm if you've, I haven't. if you've not, it's probably a good indicator that you're not nutritionally deficient. We think it's linked with the placenta because th that woman I'm telling you about, she was having a multiple pregnancy, and she yeah. was like, "I know it's crackers." She, 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 she was just put it around and eat it. She, she had well, a favourite like... building in the town centre. She used to go to <laughs> <laughs> number eight. No, that's not my mum. My mum throughout her pregnancy, she wanted to eat coal. Coal is a really common one. Mm. Again, that's from the ground. That's going to have iron Actually, in I it. I love the smell of cigarettes. That uh, that is one thing I am. Um, I do love. Yeah, well, you, being pregnant. You, I think your sense of smell is heightened in pregnancy. Yeah, for sure. A lot of people go off the smell of their own partner or of food. Mm. Yeah. Luckily, I haven't. Yeah. You bumped it's lovely, by the way. You look like you swallowed a football. Thank you. It's so neat. But it's getting to the point now where, like, I am, it is weighing me down. Like, if I'm on my side, I'm like, oh, I have to, like, kind of help myself. And, like, yeah, it's just getting very well. Well, the, the, you know, you've got all that amniotic fluid in there. You've got extra blood. You, yeah. Your muscles have gone a little bit. Um, tired and your joints you've got this hormone called relaxin which is like um, so el elastication yeah. yeah my hips I feel oh, yeah, like a 90 year old yeah is that a normal kick? yeah yeah so your pelvis has got cartilage in the back and in the front cartilage is what your nose is made of and what your ears are made of so it's not bone it's stretchy it's got some give in it and there's a hormone called relaxin that is in your system now and it's giving you elastication properties here and elastication properties here at the back so your pelvis, this hole where the baby's got to come down through, is obviously in the uterus inside this, like an egg in an egg cup almost. It's going to come down here, but the give in your pelvis, your body's going to practice for that now. So if you married a gent, he's going to help you get out of the car. He's I'm, going to I'm empty that dishwasher. That's he's me, going to me, give you his arm and help you up off the settee he after does. the podcast. I, I do the, I do because the you will start to notice it now, yeah. strains and stresses of musculoskeletal. That is so true. Now, you can't do anything about that. You, you've got one of those and you've got a shape of your pelvis. And for some women, as you look down, there's a whole shape there that you're going to look at. For some women, it's more like a kidney bean. For other women, it's more heart shaped. And you want a nice round female pelvis. You know, we used to talk about childbearing hips. Yeah. That's what it means. It means what shape is your pelvis. So that's a given. It's going to expand a little bit. It'll give by about 30% size bigger if you're mobile and active in labour. But you can't do a lot about your pelvis. But from now, 28 weeks onwards, you guys can do so much. The birthing to ball. Yeah, the birthing ball, taking your supplements, taking your... Have you been given iron tablets or anything like that? Yes, yeah, my iron's a little bit low. Are they sitting on the work surface at home, not getting taken? Absolutely. Yeah. No, most, you've been, you said you've been taking them. I'm on to it. Sorry. I'm on to it. Because I feel fine. I just think, oh, it must be fine. And yeah. But, you know, you're going to lose blood when you birth a baby. Um, it's not you know gory gory but you do lose a significant amount of blood sometimes between 250 and 500 mils is fairly average so if your haemoglobin your iron content of your blood is just dropping down a little bit now and then it drops down again when you birth your baby you're gonna wish you'd take those tablets i've been toying with different birth plans hmm. and 
does it matter if I have a definite birth plan or not? Some people do a really detailed birth plan. All it needs to be is your name and your unit number or your date of birth at the top and then any preferences or options that you're thinking about. Something that you absolutely hate the idea of, you could put that in as well. I really don't want this. I really don't want that. Uh, I really want my partner to cut the cord or my partner hates oh, the idea of cutting the cord. Either way, that. either way. I was going to ask about the cord. Um, uh, what what texture is it? Is it like quite hard to cut? <laughs> it's like a soggy cold oh, wow. sausage. The fetal surface is what's got the umbilical cord coming out of it. And that is about the length of the baby usually. So it's long. Wow. That's going to be the length of the baby? Yeah, the cord is usually the length of the baby. So if your baby's 52 centimetres so long... long um, well, it's got to allow the baby to do somersaults in the womb and, you know, it's got to allow movement and it's got to... Wait, so is this the size of a newborn? That could be coming out of you. No, surely not. The biggest part of a baby is its head and the bones on a baby's head will override one another. What's the size of my head? <laughs> but it's not going to be that big. As it comes through the birth canal, the bones override each other. It's called moulding. And so the baby's head is much smaller as it comes through the birth canal. And then as it's born, it stretches a little bit. And... And I'd be ready for this camp. They can look a bit Smurf like. Do you remember the Smurfs, those long elongated yeah. little heads? They can have an elongated head when they're born. So uh, the soft head thing. Yeah, well, I feel like babies. Just going to throw it out there. They, 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 obviously, everyone's like, oh my God, it's so cute, that's my baby. But they are pretty weird looking, aren't they? Some babies they are, are just downright ugly. Yeah. 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 And they're all beautiful but little you'll, creatures. You love them anyway. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. And they grow into the looks. Some of them can look a bit like a pug. They've had the face squished in. Some of them are really, really cross. They could be quite red. They might be a bit pale grey when they're born. They're... Oh, have you seen him? Our baby's been so pale. Well, I've got a fake tan on today, so <laughs> who's laughing now? Um, can I ask you what you really think is going to happen? You must have thought about this. Uh, yes, I do think about this on a regular basis, actually. Um, so I know my vagina's going to dilate to 10 centimetres, which is very scary. Um... How that's going to look, I don't know. But I am also worried about shitting myself. Because uh, I've heard that's very common. It is. 90% of people will, you know. 90%? 90% of people shit themselves? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's definitely going to be me because... It's not a problem. Uh, there's a reason Mother Nature puts the vagina so near the anus. Is that? Yeah, the baby needs some of your... The best gift you give your baby is some tiny little beneficial microbes that live in your bowel. And that is called your microbiome and your baby's going to breathe in the air around your bottom if it's born that way oh. babies that miss out on that they miss out on a little gift what so your baby your ears <laughs> Your baby's a blank canvas at birth, but they need beneficial microbes. If you count all the cells in your body and my body, we are more bacteria than we are human. And these little guys, you know the names of the bad ones. You know the name of E. coli and salmonella and, yeah, you know, you yeah. know the horrible, scary ones. But most bacteria in this universe are good for us. They are little factories. And every baby that is born needs to populate, we call it colonise, its body with microbes from the mum. That's why we do skin to skin. But the best form of microbial transfer, you passing those microbes to your baby, is they breathe, for, well, they don't breathe because they're not born yet, but they've got their nose, face, mouth very close, really close to your bottom. And a lot of women, a bit like think of the baby's head coming along and internally the bowel and the uterus are very close together. It's a bit like uh, squeezing a toothpaste tube. A little bit of poo ducks come out a lot Bloody of the time. Hell. It's fine. Yeah. Midwives are so used to yeah, it. Yeah, I can so imagine. It's the same best imagine. thing for our babies to get a bit of, bit of a poo. face, face full Most of babies don't, they're not covered in poo. They're not, they don't get poo on them, but they're very close. So they're going to breathe in these invisible yeah. microbes that live on all of us. Oh, and, yeah. you know, please don't call a dirty nappy a dirty nappy. Call it a pooey nappy because poo is not dirt. Poo is absolute magical stuff. You've poo. heard it here first. And also, I'm worried about tearing. It's understandable that you're going to worry about tearing. So if I do this, that's going to hurt. And you're going to think, oh, the corners of my mouth might yeah, tear a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're not designed to tear the mouth. You are designed to tear when you birth a baby. The perineal skin is designed to go thin and thin and stretch. So let me just say, do you know what your perineum is? Yes, but we actually need to be massaging that. It does feel like that when you birth a baby. It feels like you are tearing from front to back, but you're not. Most women are just getting the small okay. tears. It's, it's, you know, it's rare to get the really serious tears. And we now know through the evidence, and my expert midwife do a lot on this on our website, if you massage your perineum, so that is that area between the vagina and the anus, from 35 weeks of pregnancy, three to five times a week, 
And when I say massage, you can get our little peri prep oil and you can just put some oil on your finger and just go into the vagina and just put some pressure only down to about your first That's knuckle. Not hard. No, no. Would you recommend me to to watch the whole thing or kind of just be be at the top end with them or like really watch what's going on anything that you need to see the midwife will show you so you don't really need to be down at that business end looking at that stretching uh, it can be a little bit triggering to yeah, see it i think it when might. the baby's born it might have some blood on it it can look a bit gray or a bit bluey gray and it can look a bit out of it for a second or two it's up to you. Some guys really like to be down there looking and saying, you're doing it, you're doing it. I can see it's hair, I can see it's hair. But, you know, you're pushing, you might be pushing an hour. To He'll get pass baby. out. Yeah, it's a long time. And sometimes there's a sort of one step forward, one step backwards process goes on where it's coming <laughs> and then it goes back in. It's come. Do you want me to show you a birth on my phone? Yeah, I've brought a little thing. No. Out. Yeah, go on. Shall yeah, I show you? Yeah, I'll watch it. So Close your eyes. So what you're going to see now is a baby being born. So she's laid on a side. Oh, my God. That, that milky she's clear. Sha she's that? shaven. What's that? What's well, the, that, it, all that lump? What's that? It's, that's hemorrhoids. That's the anus at the back. Then the big... Oh! That's the bag of waters oh, on the baby. So the baby's in the bag of waters there. And you can see the black hair and you can see it coming. Now look at the perineum oh stretching. God. Oh, looks like an the alien. Perineum is going <gasps> so thin. <gasps> oh, no. Forehead no, comes it. out first. Forehead out. Oh, look, baby. breathing in the poo. Oh, my God, that's hair. Not that's quite hair. breathing yet because the lungs are still. But look it's, how close it is. He's got piles in his face. Water's gone there. You can see the water trickling out. So the mm. bag of membranes is gone. No, this is wrong. This is wrong. Look how calm this baby is. Look how calm this mum is. <laughs> She's laid on her side. Oh, that baby. Sure. Why they've not pulled it out by now? There's a little gap. Now, what's happening inside the baby's shoulders are coming into the right dimension to birth. Oh, is that okay? That was enough. That... Do you think you'll be down that end now? I'll probably stay at the top. I think. Yeah, I think I think yeah. it's fine to stay at the top end. The piles was quite. I, it is. I got yeah. M some anus also. That can help. Thanks, Kathy. I could listen to you for hours. I have thoroughly enjoyed you have... talking to such well-prepared people. Do you think you're prepared? And all your questions, not one of them is silly or trivial. They are all oh. spot thought, on. Thought of them last night. Good. So Kathy was very, very knowledgeable. I love Kathy. I like Kathy. Oh. I, again, I want all these, her to be my doula. All these ladies, I'd like them to be my mums. No, literally. I feel like she I'm glad she said my questions weren't stupid because you said they were I know, sorry and I think they were that. valid questions you need to learn to validate me you do do not you do not don't, you don't validate me don't even start <laughs> I am pregnant you need to validate me <sighs> Kathy did my favourite segment this is my favourite time of the podcast. Do you this need is... to say it's my favourite segment every time? People need to know it's my favourite segment. Uh, people fucking know. People they might care. not. They might be tuning in this week and think, does he like eating the baby food? Okay, but I you fucking don't need do. to say the word segment is annoying. You don't need to say it's my favourite oh, segment. Oh, God. There's just right and wrong words with you, isn't there? Why don't you write me a list of things I can and can't say oh, on the happily. podcast? Why don't you shut up and have some potato baked with green beans and sweet garden peas? So this is a Heinz by Nature. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ooh, text, oh, texture Christ. on that boy. That is so congealed. Oh, it wiggles around like jelly. It's like pea jelly. <laughs> That's a big mouth. Oh. <clears throat> oh no, let me see. Look at it here. I don't like that one. I don't like that at all. Oh, I need a little bit of seasoning in that. Fucking oh, hell. Fuck. It just tastes like peas, but it's just like, mmm. That's not bad. Tastes like mushy peas, but I don't like it. I give that a two. It's still a three. I give that a two. Not bad, not bad. And if, I want to say as well, if there's any great baby food that you recommend, please let us know. If there's anyone's like, you're like, this is the one to try, let us know and we'll try that baby food. And guys, remember, if you want to get in contact with us, if you've got any advice, any horror stories, any funny stories, any, any hormones, any hormones, any recommendations, get in touch by message us on Instagram or TikTok at Now We're Talking Baby, or you can email us at nwtb at jampopproductions.co.uk. Thank you very much for listening no. and goodbye. No, we don't need the fucking alphabet. I like it. I don't care. It's good for me. No, Cam, we don't need it. It's annoying. November Whiskey Tango Bravo at Jump Up Productions got to show up for the UK. Okay? Bye.
fine. You need to let me. You you need to let me fly. Okay. You're like literally sellotaping okay, my wings. Okay. Yeah, down. I'm flying away to LA. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Now we're talking better.